What's up guys, Coach Az. I've got another story for you today from one of our sparring sessions. I thought I'd share it because it might be useful with some of you. One of my guys, he'd finished sparring and he was sat down on the floor. He was just a pile on the floor. And I walked over to him and just check he's okay. And he's like, Coach, I'm fine. I just don't understand why I get so tired. I do my runs, I put in my hours, I put in my time, but when it comes to sparring, I just get exhausted. And he's like, I'm fighting these guys and they're just so calm and relaxed and at the end of it, you know, they're hot, they're sweaty, they're breathing hard, but I'm like this pile on the floor every single week. He goes, I don't know what I need to do. Like, do I need to run more? Do I need to go do more hill sprints? And I said, it's none of that, man. You're just, you're fighting really inefficiently. You're being really inefficient with your energy. You're expelling energy in ways that you don't need to. I like to use analogies because it just helps to paint pictures of it. It's kind of like the other guys are like a Ferrari. They're streamlined and they're designed in a way to let the wind pass over them just right so they can skim through the air as fast as possible. And the way you're fighting is kind of like a caravan. You're this big block that's just getting hit with the wind and making it far more difficult than it needs to be for you to move around. And in specifics to this guy and what he was doing, he was doing a lot of unnecessary movement. He'd got it in his head that he needs to move his head to not be on the center line all the time, but he was moving it so aggressively and so much that it was making him tired. He understood that he needed to use footwork to create angles and create space, but he was stomping his feet forward. He was jolting himself out to the side and throwing himself constantly off balance. And of course, what this means is all the stabilizers in your legs have to work harder. All the muscles in your leg have to work harder to get that weight distribution back because you're so heavy leaning onto one foot or the other. He's putting everything he has behind his shots. He's not a particularly powerful hitter. Uh, I hope if he watches this, he doesn't mind me saying it. He doesn't hit hard, but he, he tries to make up for that by putting a lot behind his techniques. So every shot for him anyway is a kill shot. You can't do that for three minute rounds. You certainly can't do that for a one hour sparring session. You're going to gas out. He was being inefficient with his energy. This is a term you would have heard Conor McGregor say after his first fight with Nate Diaz. When they asked him about what happened and why he felt he lost, he said, I felt I was inefficient in my energy. And what he means by that is he got tired. And the reason he got tired is he tried to implement what he would normally implement against everyone else, which is I'll knock you out in the first round with my power. Nate Diaz was a weight division above, a bit of a bigger guy, and his power didn't quite translate the way he thought it would. So he couldn't put him away. But he was fighting as if he was trying to put him away and what that resulted in was him gassing out a lot faster. Take it to the second Nate Diaz fight and you see Connor being a lot more reserved, a lot more patient, utilizing the leg kick, staying on the outside and effectively winning a very clear cut, in my opinion anyway, a clear cut decision victory over him. He was far more efficient in his energy. There's a time and a place to go all out on a sparring partner or on an opponent, try and put them away. But you have to understand the consequences of doing so. And the main consequence of doing that is that if you empty the gas tank, there's no way to quickly refuel it. If you empty the tank, you're then fighting with an empty tank. So if you don't know that it's gonna put them away or you're not very confident, you need to understand the risk that you're gonna be taking by doing so. There's only so much of a level of fitness that we can develop. Like he was saying, I need to go for more runs, I need to do this, I need to do that. Not really, you can only sprint for so long. No matter how much you train, no matter what you do, the human body has physical limits. You can push past them a bit with mental toughness, and this kid certainly does, he pushes through it. But really, what we need to do is learn to be more efficient machines, learn to be more like the Ferrari and less like the caravan. We need to learn to be a bit more streamlined in our movements. Move your head just enough. Move your feet just enough. Throw your punches with just the right amount of power for what's necessary for what you're trying to achieve. We're not trying to knock them out straight away. Maybe we're just trying to feed them with the jab. Maybe we're just trying to test them with some fakes. A fake uses less energy than committing to a punch. So rather than me throwing three punches, maybe I can throw two fakes and one shot. And even if that shot doesn't fire, I've wasted less of my gas tank by not committing to three full strikes every time. This is obviously all up for you know interpretation in terms of how much you wanna to lean towards it. But if you find yourself constantly getting tired in sparring, constantly getting worn out and feeling like your opponents are coming down on top of you, maybe you just need to work on being more efficient. 
take a step back don't feel like you always need to use pace as a weapon and try to just feel out the fight feel out the rounds with your opponents a bit more this is particularly common in beginners because you guys are just inefficient all around. You're still learning the technique. You're still trying to build up the muscle memory in terms of how you throw it. If I throw a roundhouse kick and you throw a roundhouse kick, I'm gonna use less energy throwing it because my body is more adapted in order to doing it. It knows what muscles to recruit. It knows what muscles to let relax. Whereas your body is probably recruiting every single muscle in your body far more than it needs to because it's still trying to work out what the most efficient way of doing that movement is. Your footwork is gonna be all over the place. You're gonna be doing a lot more unnecessary steps and unnecessary movements because you haven't yet worked out what's needed and what isn't. The final thing is be really conscious of your breathing because a huge part of this is that you're being inefficient with your breathing. You're getting caught up in it and you start to breathe very shallow. <sighs> These little light breaths where you're not actually getting enough oxygen into the muscles. Deep breathing but relaxed and calm is what we want. Do some breathing exercises and remain conscious of it during sparring to help you stay on top of it. Guys, I hope that one's been helpful for you. If you enjoyed the video, hit like, hit subscribe, and I will see you on the next one.